of excitement. You know, uh, these guys have been committed for a while. A couple of them, and you know, I've talked to them for a while now. And you know, now that it's official, and I know for a fact they'll all be here. It's really exciting. And, uh, I'm waiting for them to get here. Ask you why you picked Kentucky. What do you tell them? Uh, um, the future. Um, it's a bright future here with, with Coach Stoops and his staff. There are a lot of special things here with the um, strength and conditioning and Coach Quam. Um, you know, this fan base, this direction the program's going is amazing. Um, I've been committed for a while now, and I saw from the beginning, and now that I've gotten here, it's, uh, it's showing even more, and I'm really excited about what they're doing, and I'm glad to be a part of it. Join them. But obviously you can come in because you believed in, but now that you are here, you say you've seen things make you believe even more. What are some of those things? Just the weight program, you know, and, and my body's changed in, in the last four weeks that I've been here. The food that we're eating, you know, just the type of strength and conditioning things we're doing with, in the weight room and in the field house and our conditioning and everything. It's, uh, it's exciting and it's special and it's really showing and really making a difference. Not at all. Um, you know, there was some some talk about that. You know, a, a bad season may have uh, had some of these guys decommit, but I just kind of stayed in everybody's ear. I knew from the beginning that this is where I was going to be because I knew what the future was going to hold. So you know, I just try to keep everybody together, me and Drew, and everything ended up working out. Um, I don't think that the season's record had anything to do with people's commitment at all. I'm You know, they they let us know that it was going to be a process, and that was the biggest thing. You know, they didn't say that they were going to go out there and go undefeated. They didn't say that they were going to make a bowl game, but they were positive the entire time. They said, we're going to get better, you know, and uh, I believed it, and, you know, it was true. I saw the improvements from the year before, and, you know, them telling me that kind of helped me, you know, stay with this program and let me know this the right place. school and you know visited and he wanted me to come down and meet the staff and come see the place and connect down with my mom and you know I, I think it's because he's an Ohio guy he knows what type of talents in Ohio um, and just his character just how he is and he was honest from the beginning you know even before I got here and when I got here that the staff is keeping their promises they're they're doing everything that they said they're going to do and that's important to me and um yeah, um, his, his presence in Ohio is felt, and he, he's a good guy to be around. So. What was he like during your in-home visit? Was he on that visit? And everybody talked about how he, like, you got to know their grandma and played games with them. He did all sorts of things. What was your visit like? Well, um, I committed really, really early. So, you know, I had visited him, and he had visited me, you know, um, here and there. But it, it was good. My dad and my mom was there, and my brother. We all just kind of hung out. You know, we got something to eat joked around, my family had already known him, I already had a relationship with him. So it, it was pretty chill and it was a good time. Linebacker was a spot they had trouble with last year and then they lose a guy like Taylor Williams. What are your expectations about playing time going into this, especially being in this room? Well, yeah, that, that was something that the staff talked to me about from the beginning. They're, um, you know, they're thin at linebacker. Um, I've been talking to Avery and Avery's going to help me with everything that he can. He's going to teach me everything he know. Um, he's going to continue to develop in the weight room and, you know, try to learn his playbook and try to get out there as soon as possible. Um, we take it one day at a time. I know that I'm young, but uh, I think if I take it one day at a time and I learn everything that I'm supposed to, I feel like I can be out there this fall if everything goes right. What's it been like, the, the, the impression you have of the guys that, that have been here for the past couple of years? What's just been your impression of they want to win. They're hungry for success. Um, you know, there's there's no type of um, animosity uh, uh, against us. You know, new guys coming in at all. They all they're accepting us. They're they're excited about us and um, they're helping us as much as possible. Um, 
So that's really important that they want to win and they're, they're hungry for success just as much as we are. So. Did you worry how that might be? No, not really. You know, me coming in early as a freshman, I knew there might be some little jokes and, you know, things here, but it really hasn't been like that. You know, I came in and they treat me like I've been here for a while and I can show them my work ethic and they're respecting them. So I just got to keep working. adjustment as far as speed just like you said this conference is probably the best conference in college football right now so speed is going to be the biggest thing as far as adjustments um, I think when we get that part down I feel like everything else will come the playbook will come the strength will come but if we get that speed down everything else will be all right So um, I think me and Drew had a big part in trying to keep this class together. Um, when I committed, I knew that I could bring some guys with me, like Mike Gale would, you know, Thaddeus, you know, some guys like Mike Edwards and things like that that I've known before I committed. Um, but just keeping the class together, I think me and Drew had a good part of that, making sure no guys wavered and making sure guys were in 100% throughout the whole process. Maybe a couple, and I don't really want to say on the fence. I think it's more so they were, you know, kind of a little bit nervous about some things. But I just told them, just stay with the process. You know what's going to be happening here in the next couple of years. You see where the coach and staff is going. You see what the direction of the program is going. You stick with it, and everything will be all right. And I felt like a lot of guys listened, and I guess that showed today when we got uh, pretty much every single commit that we, uh, you know, had. So. I'm not too familiar just yet. Uh, I was more uh, focused on getting this class in today. So I guess after today, I'm going to focus on some of these 15 guys. Um, there's actually a um, guy back at my school, um, Tyreek Kennel, who I'll be going after. Um, he's committed to Michigan right now, but I'll try to get after him. And, uh, you know, there's a couple other guys I'm pretty sure out there that I'll, I'll be trying to talk to. And get